What's up YouTube? I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Yes, Chu's here today. What's up YouTube? Welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. Here we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food as well as Chinese and Malaysian traditional food and street food. Today couldn't be more traditional and is one of the most popular dishes on a dim sum menu. What is that, Ma? Dao Si Jing Pai Guat. Yes, which translates to Stim. Spare ribs. Spare ribs. Steam with Spins. black bin. Spare ribs, steam with black bin. That's yes. the words I was looking for. But they're tiny and we're going to teach you how to um, basically cut them short and how when we have it on the menu how we do it so here we go yes don't forget subscribe and like visit our web store as well for merch and our cookbook which teaches you how to do chinese takeaway food at home chinandchew.com link to the web store is below right so here are the ingredients we're going to start off with a that's a tablespoon Dip. of potato, potato starch, starch. Um, we've got about 15 grams of finely sliced ginger, two hot chilies. Now this is optional, but it really does release the flavour. Um, so if you can handle the chilies, by all means use it. If you can't, maybe try using a less strong heat chilli, but the flavour won't be the same. Bird's eye chilies really do work really well with this. We've got three large cloves of garlic chopped finely, half a teaspoon of MSG, half a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of sesame oil. Again, the one that we're using today is the amoy that we sell on store. We sell all these ingredients on store actually. Chillandchew.com, link is below. We've got a tablespoon mm. of black beans here. All I've done to prep these is put them in hot water for 20 minutes, pulled out the hot water and let them drain, and I've just used a fork and I smushed them three times because you want some whole ones and some like mushed. And these are the, how they come. They look like this. In a, in, a, in a box. This these will last. This has lasted me three months so far, as as is. Then we've got your pork, which is pork ribs. Try and get them as meaty as you can. And in this, I've got about 700 mils worth of water, 700 grams worth of pork ribs, a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of this lye water, or as we call it, gang sui. You can actually make this at home. You don't need to buy it. If you want a video on that, comment below and say oh, we would love a video on how to make this. Now we're doing more traditional stuff. We're gonna you're gonna be using this quite a bit because what this does works like bicarb and it makes the beef uh, makes the pork really tender. The meat. The meat, yeah. It's not just pork meat. Yeah, and it, you use it sparingly. You don't use a lot at all. Then we have Shaoxing rice wine, and we're gonna use about a tablespoonful of that. And we've got this first extract light store. This is absolutely beautiful. It's really worth it. It's like, we sell it on the store, £2.80, but it's one of the best soy sauce we've ever tasted. So yeah, we've got a review video on this, so we'll link that below so you can see why. We're gonna use about a tablespoon of that as well. And then we're gonna steam it. But first, we're gonna show you how to cut the ribs, and then we're gonna drain this liquid away uh, thoroughly, and then they'll be ready to use. So we're gonna put it into a colander and let it drain. Okay, so I forgot to press record. <laughs> so we got halfway through chopping this one. So we, to start off again, the, the rib will have a curve. The curve needs to be on the, the table, not against, because here there's quite a pronounced curve. And what that does is when you come down, it causes like a spring effect, so it's quite difficult to get through and you shatter the bone much easier. If you turn it around so it's flat to the board, it'll go through much quicker and you need to be committed to this. You need a good swift downward motion, keep your hand away from it if you don't want to touch it. If you want to keep your hand well away, keep it well away. If you get halfway through, all you have to do is then just sort of like lift the meat up with it and bring it down. Don't bring the knife away. I'll show you one now actually. So. Okay, like that. I've gone halfway through, okay? Because I haven't committed enough. Don't pull the knife back out, because you're likely to just clip a bit of the bone. Just bring it back with the knife and come down. Fortunately, we don't have another rib to show you, but I mean, yeah, it's fairly straightforward. Most of you probably know how to do that. I'm teaching you to suck eggs, but for those of you who didn't, there you go. Okay, so we drained these and we gave them a quick rinse. Now it's time to add all your ingredients. So in goes your potato starch. This just makes 
any liquid that comes off it a little bit saucy. You're uh, also make it a bit velvety smooth. Yeah. Smooth operator. Yeah. Can anybody tell me what song is it? I can tell you what just went in there though. Ginger. <laughs> Bloody hell, that was difficult trying to get that out. Uh, garlic, your chili, your MSG, your salt, your black beans. With the black beans, less is more. A lot of people want to overdo black beans and it can make the food taste bitter. You just want a nice hum of the black bean going through the dish. Yeah. Sesame oil, a tablespoon of Chinese rice wine. Shao Sing is the preferred one. I want a tablespoon of light soy. Then we've got to mix it around. You're going to want to mix this up well. Right, so then what you do is you want to place your pork, your strips around the side. It's hot around the side and then the, the temperature creeps in. So you kind of want to break the well in the middle. And um, this will create some sauce because these will sweat and it will be lovely. Yes, on top of the fries. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Come wait for that. Okay, now on to steaming this. Yes. Put the pan and put some water and get it boiling. Yeah, and when it's boiling, we'll put this in the steamer. Steamer, we sell it in the web store? Like this, yeah, we do sell these in yes. the web store. Good link, Mum. And this basically sits in here. You put the lid on and you let it sit for about 20 minutes. Come back, be careful when you take the lid off because a load of steam will come out. Turn it, put the lid back on and then cook for another 25. All that when that's boiling. So just a quick one, make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done already. Hit the notification bell. And if you want us to make that gangsway uh, or live water as you call it video, please comment below so we know it's something that you guys want to watch. Okay, so now the water is boiling. I'm gonna put this over the top. Again, we sell these bamboo steamers on our web store, so if you'd like to support the channel, please head over there. That goes on there, and we're gonna leave that for 20 minutes, check the water level, and to turn these. All right, so 20 minutes are up. Be careful when you take this lid off, like I said before, because it will just shoot up with steam. Go oh, look at that. We're just going to move these about, stir it up a little bit, get all those lovely juices moving around. Oh yes, look at that. Mm, you can smell it. If heaven was a smell, it will be pork and black bean. What are you trying to do there? Just get the large bits at the side, you know, because they're stacked on top. Give them a chance to change positions and cook. Back on for another 25 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 20, uh, 40 minutes total now. We've looked at it, taken a peek, and it doesn't need any longer. So this is what it should look like. Wow, can't wait to dig into it. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that sauce. It doesn't look that appetizing to, I'd say, the Western eye maybe, but to us this is, this is absolutely sublime, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so here we have it. Oh, I should probably have videoed this. So that's what it should look like. Focus. Like that. Beauty. Full. Here we go. It's quite hot. Yes. You don't want that not to fall off. The <laughs> yeah. Do you want to put it in there? You can use. <clears throat> any sort of pork you want really, but it's way better than the ribsy and the marrow obviously infuses the flavour into the sauce. Oh, so it's cooking hot. Yeah, it's warm. Get some of the sauce on the rest. Mm. Mm. Yes! You can taste the ginger. If you've never had this before, mm. you need to get it in, yeah. in around your life. It's not hot and bone mouth. Like you say, if you don't like to chew around the ribs, you can just use your belly pork or pork, but the really top is too dry. You need a bit of a, like marbly. Yeah, so it's something with a bit of fat in. Yes. I think the ribs is the best. Makes the best flavoured sauce. Mm. And like I said, the key is not to overdo. I know your instinct is to throw in more garlic, more ginger, just for more flavour, but you'll end up ruining it. And a lot of the time, people ruin Chinese food, like I said before, because they overthink it, overcomplicate it. Sometimes simple things make the best outcomes. Black bean, just just enough for it. I didn't want it to be better. Hang on. I forgot we were recording. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like, 
comment and subscribe. Remember, head over to our web store for our cookbook, merch, and ingredients at the Chinese takeaways and, you know, other Chinese use. So, yeah. Well, I'm so, <coughs> so enjoy eating it. I forgot all about what we're talking about. But we're talking. Mum doesn't know where she is right now. Yeah, <laughs> yummy. Um, That's all I can tell you. Try it. Yeah, honestly, try it. Yes. Mum. Happy cooking. Happy eating. Take care till next time. Yeah. Remember weekly videos. Weekly from now on.